Yes, because you're attracting your energetic reciprocal. So in a healthy version, you attract a positive or a healthy feminine, a healthy masculine will attract. Also, the wounded masculine and wounded feminine will attract because they're mirroring each other's energies back to them. So if you're wounded in your masculine, you could attract a wounded feminine man, and he comes into his life, he's got all kinds of anger, expression, he doesn't know who the hell he is. Like, you're like, oh, you need therapy kind of thing? Like, <laughs> like, you need to go talk to somebody. So yes, energetic reciprocals works for wounded feminine and wounded masculine as well. Because it's, it, once again, it's your energetic reciprocal. You know? It's, and then the polarity starts to, to, to like get exposed. You're like, I can't take it anymore. I don't trust him at all. He can't make a damn decision. Let me give you a scenario, okay? Let me give you this scenario. Man and woman, man and his masculine, woman and her feminine. First case scenario is like someone that doesn't understand polarities or understand masculine and feminine. He goes, hey babe, think about going on a trip this weekend. Where would you like to go? She's like, I don't know. He's like, well just think about it. Give it some time. Friday, let me know. It's Friday, hey babe, where do you want to go? It's Friday. Don't know. Second case scenario, man understands masculine and feminine energy. Hey, babe, be ready at 7 p.m. on Friday night. Bring your favorite dress. Bring the red dress that you always, that you love to wear. Gives her exact instruction. She doesn't have to think. Ooh. <laughs> Surprise. Because he reaches out and says, he says in that moment, I can lead you. And she goes, now she has to be open to being led. I will surrender to that. I'll trust your decision. I'll trust your clarity. Babe, be ready 7 p.m. Friday night. Wear that red dress that looks so damn good on your ass. <laughs> and, I wanna, and, and I want to express something else here as well and point something else out. The masculine energy works through challenge. Meaning, if two masculines are coming together, they challenge each other. Like, you know, we, f we mess with each other kind of thing. Where if you try to challenge your girl who's in her feminine, you'll hurt her. Because if I go to Scrimmer, like, dude, you're looking a little chubby. You should get in the gym. He's like, oh, shit. Depending on his relationship with his masculine energy, he's like, he's in the gym the next day. He's working out. My, my man's got discipline. I've seen him lose a lot of weight. Now you say that to your partner, who's in her feminine, she'll be crushed. Hey babe, you're looking a little chubby. She get in the gym. Immediately like, F kidding me? <laughs> let's, let's move through this though. He goes to her, because he's, he's helping her lead, you know, lead her deeper into her heart. She's got yoga pants on. He's in his mask, in his sacred mask, and walks up to her, pants look good on you, babe. She's like, really? Ass is looking good. And she's like, now she's motivated to be in the gym because he gave her praise. If the wounded masculine or the unconscious masculine would just be challenging her. The feminine works through praise. So she loves to feel the love from you. She likes to feel that, wow, he sees me. He sees me.